Oh, how are you today? Um, it's uh, pretty nice. It's uh, now uh, we've been able to, to get back to church, even though it's not quite normal. Uh, but uh, at least people are getting to see each other. And, uh, and also summertime's getting here. Uh, some of our uh, restrictions have been eased. That way some people can still go on vacation. And also, you know, get out to see some, some more friends as long as it's, I guess, not too many people. And uh, as long as that, we do it in the right way. But, uh, you know, at, at thinking about it, you know, being summertime, uh, I really thought about that yesterday on my morning run. Uh, my friends and me, we did a, a run that, that we uh, we do quite often. And uh, it's, uh, it's about a nine mile -ish. And um, I guess today it was a little tougher than it has been this spring because uh, now we're, we're starting to get to summer and uh, we're starting to get to more humidity. And, uh, you know, a run that used to we could do without uh, without really carrying uh, carrying water with us or anything like that as far as as far as this spring and this winter. Uh, now, you know, whatever you brought to drink with you, you definitely have it uh, empty by the time that uh, by the time you get done with the end of the run. And uh, so, uh, you know, it makes me think about, you know, summertime's coming up. And as far as my, my friends and me running, uh, that's uh, probably the time of year we like the least. And uh, so then it's probably like, well, well, why do you do it? And uh, the answer is always, you know, the fall, fall is on the way. And that's the time we like best. But, um, you know, summertime, uh, it is about, you know, we slow down, uh, make sure to bring something to drink with us. And, uh, and also, you know, throughout the summer, it seems like, you know, you're drinking water constantly to try to keep from uh, being dehydrated all the time. And, um, but, you know, if we didn't continue to, to run through the, uh, the summertime, then, um, you know, our fall and winter wouldn't be as good. Uh, actually, fall is probably one of my favorite times that, that we get out and, uh, and run and, and, and do stuff. And, um. You know, if, if we didn't run throughout the summer, then we'd have to be getting back in shape during the fall whenever, you know, it would you know, be a lot nicer if we were already in shape and, and able to do that. So, you know, that, that's what we do. And uh, we, uh, we try to, to stay in shape for the, for the fall and the winter. And also, you know, don't get me wrong, summer is a, a lot of fun for, uh, you know, we get to do some kayaking and, and uh, you know, people, you know, have vacations and and, uh, you know, we get to go and enjoy being outside, and, you know, not being cold. You know, it's, it's kind of funny to think the transitions that we go through. You know, we're running uh, in the wintertime, and uh, you think about, you know, winter, and you might have to be scraping your, your windshield in the mornings and, and how chilly it is. And then, you know, then we get to springtime, and, and in spring you may have to scrape your windshield in the morning and turn on your air conditioner on the way home uh, as you come home that day. Uh, and, and this spring was, you know, a really cool spring. And, and, uh, as we run along, we, we didn't really get acclimated too good. And now summertime we'll get here. It'll, it'll take us a, a few weeks to, to get acclimated, uh, to, as we, uh, as we run for the summer. But, um, you know, as, as I think about running yesterday and, uh, and then I think about running during the summertime, it kind of makes me think about the lesson that, that Steve. Uh, is going through today and this is session seven i'm being recognized at the award ceremony is what he what he calls it and um in this one we uh what steve talks about is you know still just following you know the things that, that god has for us and you know one scripture he talks about the way that you show that you love me this is jesus talking he says that the way that you show you love him is is uh you do the things that, that he talks about. And uh, sometimes, you know, or a lot of times, uh, the things that, that Jesus teaches, that God teaches in the Bible is at odds with um, what our world uh, says, how we are to supposed, how we're supposed to live life. And um, so I go, you know, why be at odds? Why go through the trouble of, of, um, you know, living out our lives the way that, that God wants us to, because, you know, you know, we've seen through Jesus's time, he had all kinds of trouble and, and, uh, you know, his persecution he went through and, the, you know, he was, was killed and, 
and then you know proved that you know he is his God over all, Lord over all, by coming back, to, coming back to life and and um, you know showing us you know he is the Messiah, and he is the way, and so as as we go through that in our lives, um, it, it can be hard and it can be tough to to do things the way that you know God teaches us. And you know one of the the scriptures that I I think about here as as I think of that is is one you've heard me talk about before, and it's John chapter fourteen verse twenty seven, and it says, "Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful." And you know that that's what I, I work towards, uh, and and. and Probably not doing a real good job of explaining why I'm working towards it, but as Christians, we see a reward that nobody else can see. You know, it talks about in the Bible. You know, all these, uh, you know, these people that that weren't tapping into God and tapping into His Holy Spirit and uh, being able to to get just what that that verse was talking about. Um, you know, a peace that only Jesus can give. It's not something that can really be understood and uh, in, in a worldly way. It's like, you know, I do X, Y, and Z, and, and this is the answer I get. It's, it's not like that. And, you know, as, as we do the things that, that God wants us to, and uh, he, he makes us more relationship-driven instead of stuff-driven. You know, in our, in our world, it, it's kind of one of those things that um, our world says whoever has the most stuff is the most important. And... Uh, you know Jesus when he he come, uh, you know back when he come to Earth he he completely turned that thinking on its head, and uh, made us know that you know relationships in each other is is where um, life is found, and uh, and doing that stuff it lets us tap in you know belief in in, in Christ lets us tap tap into the Holy Spirit, and, and um, be able to to find those rewards that, that nobody else can can see other than Christians, and. Then, as a you know, another scripture that I have that, that makes me think about the, you know the difference in what the world thinks and and, and a Christian view of life is First Corinthians uh, chapter one verse twenty, and it says, "Where are the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of the world?" So the things that you know that, that folks say you know is the the wisdom of the world and this is the way it should be. Uh, God's made it foolishness, uh, and, uh, and, and and unless you're a Christian and, and you have that relationship with with God, then uh, then yeah, we're you're not gonna under you're not gonna understand the, the things that that we get, the benefits, the rewards that we get of being Christians, the rewards that we get now, and uh, and also the rewards that we'll get in the future. So, you know, think about that. In our lives, you know, think about um, yes, uh, some things as far as being a Christian and, and living as a Christian are are tougher, uh, and it's tougher to you know it, it you know one of the scriptures that Steve uses in his session uh, has the world obey in it and um, are and it says you know obey uh, me and that's how I, you know I know that you, you love me and you're trying to follow me and uh, now you know we live. In a society, when you say obey, you know, it's like, oh, you're telling me what to do and, and all this. But but think about, you know, in life, uh, you know, we obeyed our parents only because they were they were taking care of us and they were teaching us and, and uh, they loved us. And uh, it's the same thing with God. Um, I know it's sometimes uh, living a Christian life makes things uh, it seem seemingly a little tougher or a lot tougher, uh, but. There's rewards that, that we have access to that, that people who are non-Christian don't even know that are there. So uh, this week, in, enjoy uh, Steve's session. Uh, it's session seven, and uh, the name of the name of it again is "I'm being recognized at the awards ceremony." And I will see you next week.